the reason why everybody's even at nine to five is because number one, safety. It's safety. Exactly. You know, exactly. when you have your own business, you can make zero dollars one day. The next day you can make ten thousand dollars. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. So yeah. at the end of the day, it's safety. It's safety, it's safety, it's safety. So I'm very big on making a plan so you are okay. You know, and it's okay, like, if you are an entrepreneur and you need something on the side to make sure you're good, it is completely yeah. fine, but just continue to revert back to your why. You know, why are you doing this? Every job, every business has a process. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like what happens is, is um, I realized, ugh, I'm saying this, <laughs> Say I realized <laughs> I worked harder for the man, when I say man job. I yeah. realized I worked harder for the man than I worked for myself when I oh, first started man. this. Damn, that hurts. I, <laughs> I realized it. I mean, like, shoot, I go hang out with my friends and think. Just let, let's just say at night you got a little too lit, right? Yeah. And you got you got work the next morning. You gonna drink your pedi you light, your, your liquid IV, your water. You gonna show up? Why? Because you because you know you are gonna get fired or you just yeah. gonna get in trouble. Okay, let's say that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you have your own business, who gonna fire you? Hey, Who's gonna tell you, you gotta wake up if you ain't set alarm? And also if, if you don't want to, because you the boss. Yeah. yeah. So I, I had to look at it as like I think what made me make a change is I had to ask myself, Depreciate, would you fire you? Mm, so you gotta start, you gotta start like your your jobs actually teach you how to have a successful business. Definitely. That's why I say you gotta have a clock in, clock out, because I didn't have one. I worked when I wanted to, which there's there's pleasure in that. Don't get me wrong, but that ugh, I just always hate when I say that. But I did, I did realize, I did realize that I was that person that worked harder for the man than myself, and that that yeah. makes no sense because who you need to invest in truly is you. Exactly. I always tell people like, kind of like what you said, use your job. Like when I was uh-huh. working my job, I was like, okay, this is how they do. They award right. people for doing this. I'm looking at the different systems they're doing. So now it's definitely important to use that job as leverage. And I just want to say congratulations for, you know, Thank not working you. a job no more. It's dope Thank to have you. your own freedom. You know what I'm saying? You can do whatever you want, whenever you want. But I mean, it's not as sweet as it sounds, you know, when you're running your actual business, but you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. So I want to basically, as we transition, I want to talk, I want to ask you, is there any question that people don't ask you that you'd want to discuss or talk about? You're like, damn, I wish people asked me X, Y, Z or something. I don't know how many interviews you'd be doing. Are you talking about, like, you ask me? Like, what Anything I want that, you any- to ask me? Yeah, yeah, just something like, let's say you do a lot of interviews and you're just like, damn, I, w- I wish they asked me that. Damn, I wish Michael was going to ask me about, you know, whatever. Any topic. Uh-oh. <laughs> now you got me thinking really hard. Um, When I talk to people... That's hard because now I feel like I'm about to make a statement. You gonna make a statement? Go ahead and make the statement. It ain't no template to it. Go ahead and say what you gotta say. I feel like if I had to say what I wish people asked me is more so which you kind of did, just kind of like my process, like where I was at and how did I overcome, like even when it comes to my credit and stuff. Because what gotcha. happens is, is when you're skilled and when you're learning, people tend to forget that you probably were exactly where they were a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that, and I feel like sometimes like if I don't get that question, I'm always trying to tell somebody like, they're like, you don't want to see my credit. You know, you don't want to see this. You're going to be so disappointed when I'm just mm-hmm. like at the end of the day, like if I have to be transparent with you, like with where I was at, like I started my credit journey in the 600s. Truthfully, mm-hmm. I did not know. I know now, but past tense i didn't know how it got there most of the time you got mm. a number and don't know where that number came from it's just like this yeah. is the number they stamped on me today right and yeah. so uh, once i cr- started my credit journey i was so excited when i hit the 700 you know i'm like oh 719 i'm there i'm doing i'm yeah. building but then what happened life started lifing you know mm. i yeah. started making the late payments i started not paying attention to the plans that i created for myself Mm-hmm. And my score went all the way to five, I think it was five ten. That's the lowest score I ever had ever that I ever seen, you know, that mm-hmm. I was that I was aware of. 
Mm-hmm. And so the positive thing about me is my plan was also my backup plan. So I was able to, you know, call my attorneys, hey, I messed up, repo my credit, let's start this over. Then that's when I started realizing how much everything else was important so I could get mm-hmm. back where I once was and go further than that. So a lot of people don't realize, I feel like in businesses where you actually do become skilled in a particular area, if you were them and yeah. come on, grab my hand and walk with me. You know, mm-hmm. you got to walk. I'll, I'll grab your hand, but you got to walk with me. So Definitely. just really understanding that, you know, we are humans, understanding that, you know, um, at least I can speak for myself. Like I'm genuinely really, really trying to help people. But at mm-hmm. the end of the day, I only could go, you know, you don't help somebody that's ready to be helped. True. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stick on that credit topic. So how did it make you feel as you were going through that? Like, how'd you feel when you saw the 510? Did you have like anxiety? Was it like you couldn't believe it? Did you think someone stole your identity? Maybe it was someone else's credit. <laughs> like, how did you no, feel? it wasn't really. It wasn't really the number that made me okay. feel away because yeah. once that number starts going down, it what 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 is it going down for? Remember, I told you what's the reason you make you're making late payments. You're not budgeting. Yeah. So then you start looking at your money as a whole and how you're living. You know, do you have extra money on the side to have a nice meal? Do you, and I'm not saying I was doing bad or anything, but you start looking at everything as a whole. But what happened with me, and I didn't say all this, but what happened with me is my, I was, I was running with my business. I was running with it. My car got stolen. You know, uh, my mom and my stepdad was going through a divorce. And at this moment I was in the midst of transitioning about a house. So it was just so much was happening in my life. And even, um, I don't know how transparent you want me to be. <laughs> be as transparent as you got some, you so, got some of your in, future in clients midst, watching the, right now. So in the midst of this, then I had a friend that got shot up. You know, my friend oh, got man. shot up. Uh, she's still alive. Praise God. Okay, that's but, good. Uh, Praise my God. friend got shot up. Truthfully, yeah. I didn't think I would care so much about a dog, but we had to put my dog down. This is all happening like in a matter of two weeks. Like all oh, this, like God. life was just happening and then as yeah. I was getting out that funk my uncle passed away and my cousin passed away so oh, it was sorry, just God. like I wasn't I wasn't in a great place and what happens is is I'm big I'm very big on wellness as a whole so mm-hmm. I, I can't think of all there's eight factors of wellness so it's like financial physical all this stuff right when mm-hmm. one part of your life is not doing well everything else just goes down yeah. So that's why, like, if you're not happy, maybe you just need to do a crunch or push up and exercise. Maybe you just Go need to, to drink gym. water, you yeah, know, maybe. so you don't have that headache. You know, so a lot of times it all ties together. So what yep. happened to me when that score was going down, my life was going down too. Mm. So it wasn't the number I was looking at. So then I had mm. to really take a step back and really just like depreciate. You got to snap back. Of course, I got to feel, I got to heal. But at the end of the day, life is going to continue to keep going regardless. So what you you going to sit on that couch and gain another 10 pounds (laughs) or you actually going to get up and do what you need to do to heal yourself? You know, that's reading a book, you know, getting around loved ones. And really, once again, I, I was very big on already making a plan. This is I was in my business at the time, you know, so I'm already teaching this stuff. But I was falling back myself. So I had to go back. I had to go back. We mess up. I had to go yeah. back and just go back to the drawing board and be intentional with my goals so I could get back to where I can't even say where I once was past where I was at, you know, mm-hmm. so yeah that's my line <laughs> yeah yeah no that's that's heavy that's a lot did you go through therapy for any of this or just so I, honestly I, I love my therapist i did not go back okay. to her i did think about it at that moment um yeah i'm i'm i love therapy so truthfully i really wouldn't mind going back to her anyways over anything but yeah. um one thing about it is before was it months before it was months before that happened i just ended my therapy so a okay. lot of things that I learned by having a therapist was things I was able to implement in my life. So gotcha. for those that love therapists against therapists, I feel like a therapist is there to help you talk through the problems that you have, to help you be able to answer what you need because you are the only person that know what you need. You're the only person. And there's times you may have a therapy session, talk for a whole hour about something you did not think you cared about. 
but they're going to tell you, you've been talking about this for the whole hour and our session's over. So you realize it's bothering you. So mm -hmm. uh, a lot of things I've learned by having that therapist in journaling, you know, so you can see what's on your mind, then uh, that actually helped me get through a lot. So I definitely say therapy helped, but I did not have therapy at that time. 